Don't you have a director or a registry for that stuff? You suck. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Officer Palmer. Do you know if any of George Austin's neighbors died recently? It's not in any of the reports. Do you have a name? No, not yet. But she lived across from George. Can't you look it up that way? I can't, no. The way the system works, I can only look it up by the victim's name, not address. So. Hmm. Okay. Does this phone number mean anything to you? Not really, but I can trace it for you. Trace it? Run the number, see who it belongs to. Within reason, anyway. Where'd you find it? I found it on George Austin's phone. Oh, we ran that number already. You did? Yeah. It belonged to Grace Church. Probably calling for donations or something. Yeah, or something. Hmm. Thanks anyway. Alright, we gotta go to church. Do you know anyone named Michael? Um, you're gonna have to be more specific than that. Yeah, okay. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Alright. Go to church. Let's go. Hey, Father. Hi, remember me? Yes, and would you please keep your voice down? Hi, remember me? Sorry, sorry. It's me, your boy. Time to find some kind of here to steal. Let's go. Do you know any Michaels? In my line of work, I know more than I can count. <laughs> I'm looking for information on the Grace Group. Grace Group? They used to meet here, in the basement. Some kind of self-help group? There are hundreds of so-called grace groups, and they all have meetings in the basement. You will have to be a bit more specific than that. Hmm. I checked with the police. This number belongs to a phone in this church. A man I'm looking for made a phone call from this number. His name is Michael. It's very important that I find him. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, buddy? Are you sure you don't know anybody named Michael who made a call from this church? Quite positive. Quite positive. Okay. The telephone that uses this number, where is it? Why would you need to know that? Michael used the phone. Maybe he left a clue behind when he did. And he could have used any one of a dozen offices in our administration wing. Really? Over a dozen? Yes. So, if you want to locate Michael Cooper, you'll have to find another way. Cooper? Wait, Cooper? Cooper? Oh, you said Michael Cooper. Michael Cooper. Isn't that the gentleman you're Oh man, no problem, Hex. Thanks no, for stopping by. I just said his name was Michael. I really appreciate it. So you did. Slip of the tongue. My apologies. It is quite late and I'm tired. Mmm. You need to tell me who Michael Cooper is. I told you I don't know any Michael Cooper. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. If the phone is nearby, it's not ringing. Hmm. Can't talk to Sam anymore. No connection that I can see. He was part of the Grace Group. Hmm. Let's look up Michael. Let's ask. Let's ask. Um. Mr. Palmer. Mr. Corey Palmer about it. Mr. Corey Palmer about uh. A good friend, Michael Cooper. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Do you have a record of a Michael Cooper in your system? Let's check. Sorry, it's too common a name. You'll have to give me specifics. Hmm. You don't think it's relevant that both Leah and George went to the same self-help group? That group met over 20 years ago. But even still, the two of them were a couple. They did lots of things together. Went to the same restaurants, went to the same shows, slept in the same bed. So they went to the same church. It means nothing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Yep. So, I gotta find out Michael Cooper, Michael Cooper, Michael Cooper.
Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for information. They used to meet there. Are, you will have. So you don't know anyone named Michael Cooper? No, I don't. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. Mm-hmm. No. Doesn't know anything about Michael Cooper. What if I just Google him up? The old Google machine. Huh. So Michael Cooper was a priest. Yep. Interesting. Yep. Good old Google. Excuse me. The cop yes. couldn't use it, but we did. It sucks. Michael Cooper. He's a priest too, isn't he? So? So, it's a pretty big coincidence, wouldn't you say? I... Um, the police... This is important. Do you really want the police involved with this? You're not a police officer. No, but I can bring them in. You have no right. They'd never do it. Maybe I don't, but I can try. Either way, they will be looking at this church. And at you. I made a promise. He came to me scared, begging me to protect him, to give him sanctuary. He was ranting. I should have turned him away, but mm. we were together at the seminary. We were close friends once. What could I do? You can take me to him. He's raving. He's mad. He, he says he's in a battle for his very soul. Is this true? Yes. Yes, it is. <sighs> he's in the school. It's closed for the winter break, so it seemed like a good a place as any to hide him. Here's a key. The entrance is around the corner. Please, do whatever you must. Just don't come back here. Don't worry. Good. So, thrown out of a church. I suppose with our record, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> the entrance to the school is around the block. Let's go. Let's go. I don't even care anymore. Let's go. The Grace School. Let's have a wonderful chat, Mr. Michael Cooper. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside Michael? the still water. Michael Cooper. You! Stay back, bestower. I've got a gun. Whoa, a whoa, 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 whoa. I said stay back. Whoa, 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 where? Whoa, 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 there. England's last the priest packing heat. Whoa, whoa. It's a kind of like Christian action movie. Jesus. I need to talk to you. Talk? Did talking help Leah or George or any of the others? Please, I'm here to help. Help? Oh, I wish that was true. How much help did you give George or Leah or the others? 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 How many of you are there? You don't even know that. You don't know a thing, do you? This wasn't the plan. Plan? Yes. Our brilliant plan. We get the bestower to escort our souls to the next world. Protect us from this force that is after us. Mm -hmm. Instead, you let us be destroyed. You think I wanted this to happen? People dying, souls torn apart? You think I want this? Of course not. It's just... Well, look at what we've been reduced to. I mean, I'm sorry. You pack Whatever heat. is going on, it's new. I've never seen anything like it before. I see. And what about him? Huh? Your friend. The man behind you. He hasn't said a word since you walked in here. Uh, me? D do you mean me? Yes, you. Don't look so surprised. How else could I have known who you were? Now get out of here. You've been nothing but trouble ever since George went to look for you. You really don't want to do this. You really don't want to do this. I believe she is right, my host. That voice. Yep. It can't be. I told you to stay in the other room. Yes, my host, I know. But I had to intervene. These two know me, if I may. Fine. Fine. Just make it quick. I'm losing concentration. Malone. Blackwell. What a pleasant surprise to see you both again. Always my last name. Yeah, friend. surprise is the word. What the hell are you doing here? Is it not obvious? You freed me, Malone. Brought me back into this world. And as befits all of our kind, I had a host waiting for me. 
And so I have returned to my former duties. Look, as much as I am touched by this reunion, I need to focus. Perhaps we should all converse outside. Fine, outside. Just leave me in peace. Thank you, mm -hmm. my host. All right. You're a bestower too. You're a bestower too. What gave it away? The spirit guide who won't leave me alone? Look, maintaining this circle leaves me a bit cranky. Sorry. If you can help, great. If not, well, I've made my peace with it. Just go talk to her. She's outside. I need to concentrate. I mean, you had a loaded gun. It's me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. I think he's reciting the Psalm of David. The of the From the books death, I've read, it's supposed to guard against evil. No evil for thou art with Father Michael? I... Yeah. So you're working with Madeline. Working? I guess you could call it that. Yeah, it's not more about you. Busy being scared to give it any serious thought. Mm-hmm. I can't believe there's another medium in New York. Medium? Sorry, I mean bestower. I've been calling myself medium for so long I sometimes forget. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I mean, it's not like I have anyone to talk to about this stuff. Nobody living anyway. <laughs> hey, look, I'd love to swap ghost stories with you, but it takes all my concentration to maintain the circle. Right, sorry. Maybe we'll have coffee later? You know, after we save your soul and everything. Sure, sounds great. <laughs> Michael just doesn't care. Rosangela's like, I found a friend. So, all right, I have someone to talk to. I found a friend. And, she's, and Michael's like, I don't care anymore. What is this circle? Oh, this. Madeline taught me how to do it. It prevents anything spiritual from getting to me. It takes some concentration to maintain, so I'm sorry if I seem a bit inhospitable. Mm -hmm. How did you learn what was happening? You mean that our souls were being taken? Yeah. I... it was a few weeks ago. I was at the bedside of a friend. Jeffrey, his name was. He went to the Grace Group meetings back in the day. Like me. He had been in a car accident. Hit and run. He was dying. He wanted me there. Interesting. When he died, I saw it. His spirit being torn apart. He screamed. I'll never forget that scream. I know. I saw it too. Anyway, with Madeline's help, I began looking into other members of the group mm -hmm. and learned it was happening to all of us. You know the rest. Mm -hmm. So why'd you send Madeline outside? Her presence disturbs my concentration, so she's keeping as far away as she can until this is resolved. What about us? You're the ones who are going to save my hide. For you, I'll make the extra effort to focus. <laughs> Michael is very, for a priest, he's very individualistic about his issues, but that way. What about yourself? Is there anything we should know? Look, you're not exactly catching me at my best here. I can't do anything. I'm not a true bestower like you are. Madeline says she's been weakened, or I've been weakened, or something. She doesn't know. Believe me, if I could do what you can do, I'd be out there trying to stop this. But I can't. So all I can do is hide. Okay. Could you tell me about the Grace Group? It was some kind of self-help group? <sighs> about 20 years ago, I was a very different person. I suppose you could call me an alcoholic. No relation to Deacon I at all. said it at the time. Then I saw an ad in the newspaper. It promised to help folks like me find their way. It seemed to be some kind of hippie self-help group. Mm -hmm. but I went to a meeting anyway. I don't remember much about the meetings, but somehow I had discovered that going to seminary school was something I had to do. It all made sense. Made sense. I just knew it was what I was meant to be doing. And I was right. Hmm. Did you know that there's a ghost across the roof from George's apartment? Really? Do you know anything about it? Sadly, no. Dang it. Sorry. Can't say anything, try. What happened at these meetings? That's just it. I don't remember. Until recently, I never questioned it before. How messed up is that? I'd go, I'd sit down and leave. I'd meet with the other members for coffee afterward. What on earth did we talk about? We must have found something. But I do remember a man. Benjiro. Benjiro. Huh. Benjiro. Yeah, Japanese guy. I don't remember anything else about him. Thanks. How many people went to these meetings? There were six of us. You already know about Leah and George and myself. That's three. The others are dead. Who were they? Does it matter? They are dead. Their souls were taken. Even still, tell me. <sighs> Jeffrey Dutta, Heather Goffstein, Peter Fielding. Thank you. Tell me about Heather Goffstein. 
You said she was a member of your group. Yes, she was one of us. I asked George if he knew where she was. He told me she was dead. I'm afraid it's too late for her. You saw her soul being taken. Well, no. She died before Madeline came into my life, so I can't say for sure. But she mm. went to Grace Group meetings and she's dead. What other conclusion can I reach? Hmm, who's Peter Fielding? Could you tell me about Peter? Peter Fielding, yes. I never had much contact with him. He died several months ago. I'm afraid it's too late for him. Is this like Heather? Did you actually see his soul being taken? No, I didn't. Thank heaven I didn't. Seeing it happen once is more than I can take. And who's Jeffrey Dutta? Could you tell me about Jeffrey? God, Jeffrey Dutta. Talk about transfiguration. When he walked into that Grace Group meeting, I thought he was in the wrong place. I mean, the guy was a Wall Street broker for crying out loud. He could have bought the church and everything in it. But he later confessed that he tried to kill himself twice. Dark. So what happened to him? He became a professional dog walker. Can you believe it? He used to pocket millions a year plus bonuses. Then he was picking up dog crap for $25 an hour and smiling about it. <sighs> he was hit by a car crossing the street. A hit and run. I was at his bedside when he died. Madeline had been around for Fast a month proof, man. Money doesn't so make you super happy. Spirit it's rise purpose. His body. I thought I was supposed to help him, but instead I... You know what happened next. Okay, so there's only Peter and Heather are still alive, I guess. How did Heather Goffstein die? I'm afraid I don't know. George was the one who kept in touch with her. He told me she died, but he didn't tell me how or when. I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. Hmm. How exactly did Peter Fielding die? Why? Are you going to try and find his spirit? There is no spirit. It's gone. You said it yourself. You don't know for sure. Mm hmm it was some kind of accident. I'm not sure of the details. I read about his death in the obituaries. Too late for his funeral, sadly, but I said a prayer for him. Hmm, okay. All right, Michael. We're going to go. Of course. Godspeed to the both of you. Cool. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You. Madeline. She's been a spirit guide for, well, ever. I'm sure she's got a lot to teach us. Once this is all over, anyway. Hey, it's Joey. Madeline. The last time we met, she helped me out of the void. I suppose I owe her one. <laughs> Blackwell? Malone? It's been a... long time since we've been able to converse. Yeah. Where have you been? It's been almost six months since Joey freed you. How come we're only seeing you now? I admit the transition hasn't been pleasant. I have had three hosts since returning to this world. The Whoa. first was an old man on the edge of death. He lingered for six weeks before finally succumbing to the inevitable. When the old man passed, I became bound to his niece for a time. She ran every time she saw me. I tried to keep my distance, give her time to adjust. But in the end, she fell down the stairs in an attempt to flee. Oh no. The old woman died, and I was passed to her brother. The man inside. Oof. That's crazy. Do you know what's going on? Why are these souls being attacked? I do not know. I wish I did. Like you, we saw it happen. We saw a soul being torn apart and could do nothing. I'm afraid my host became a little unreasonable after that. Mm -hmm. Why was George looking for me? We needed a bestower. A proper bestower. My host and I were not up to the task. Hey? It might be due to my time in the void. It might be because my host's soul has been marked by whatever is out there. But in any case, our abilities are limited. We cannot even help lost souls move on as you do. We can see them and talk to them, but that is all. Hence why we needed you. Lucky us. Lucky us, yeah. So what can we do? We don't even know what's going on. <sighs> our theory was that you could help move these poor souls into the next world before they were destroyed. But it appears that it did not achieve the desired result. You could say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You must investigate. My host and I are restricted, but you two are not. If anyone can help uncover why these poor spirits are being attacked and stop it, it is you. Call me Rosangela. You should really call me Rosangela. Forgive me. When you are as old as I am, all the names blur together. So I tend to address those I speak to by their family name. Mm. It is just easier that way. And less painful. I'm afraid it is a habit that is difficult to break. 
Hmm, how are you doing? So how'd you like being on the outside, as it were? I imagine it's better than being trapped wherever you were. I had thought, I had hoped, that I would pass on. Mm. Being brought back to the mortal world would force me to obey mortal laws. Instead, I... No, it is not to be. I have returned to my former duties, therefore I must have further work to do. But yes, it is nicer than being trapped in the void. Did I ever thank you, my love? Not as such, no. Well, I must rectify that. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Anytime. Mm. Do you know... Yeah. What can you tell me about Father Michael? Cooper is my host. We have not had the time to get to know each other better. Is he always this ornery? Do have some pity for him. He has lost his uncle, his sister, and several of his friends. Mm -hmm. He has been forced to accept the spirit world and the possible loss of his own soul, all within the span of a few weeks. True. If anyone deserves some understanding, it is he. Fair enough. I don't think he knows anybody, but I'm going to try. Michael said that a man named Benjiro ran the Grace Group meetings. My host has said as much to me, yes. Sadly, he does not remember much about him. Mm, and I don't, don't think you know any of these people. Do you know anything about Heather Goffstein? She was in the Grace Group with Michael. I know of her, but I have never met her. She passed away before my host and I became bonded. I never encountered her spirit. Michael believes her soul was already taken. It is certainly possible, but I refuse to lose hope until I see the evidence. Hmm, okay. Why do you let Father Michael push you around like that? It is what my host wishes. So? Simply that. I must do what my host commands. Mm, that's not, not a good idea. Right, seriously. What's the story? No story, Malone. If my host wishes me to leave him alone, I leave him alone. That actually works? Of course. It is my duty to do so. So, Joey, could... No! <sighs> of course, some of us take our duties more seriously than others. <laughs> well, I suppose we'll talk to you soon. Of course. Hey, did you like the video? Remember to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell as well to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at atgetsilius or my Twitch channel, which is in the description below. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys later.